Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take the problem that you are seeing here. Here we have x plus y times x squared plus y squared is 85. On the other hand, we have x minus y times x squared minus y squared is 45. We are going to find x and y here. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem. To solve this, I'm going to start with some simplification. Let's do that. First, I'm going to use x plus y as is, and for the next one, I'm going to write it as something that I already have. So let's start with using x plus y again, and then if I take power of two of these, I need to reduce two times xy to have x squared plus y squared here. And then I have 85. On the other hand, for what I have here, you see that it's a little bit trickier. So I'm going to write it as x minus y times x minus y times x plus y. Remember, what I have here can be written as what you see here. This is 45. And then you see that I can remove this and basically use power of 2 here. Now, based on what you see, I have x plus y and I have x minus y. I also have this xy. So let's try to use some new variables and then solve the problem. I'm going to use x plus y as m and then x minus y as n. If I do this, then you can see that m squared minus n squared is going to be x plus y to the power of 2 minus x minus y to the power of 2. And then it's going to be x squared plus y squared plus 2 times xy. And then for the next one, I have x squared plus y squared minus 2 times xy and since i have negative here i need to apply that here then you can see that this and this and then this and this are going to cancel out each other and i will have 4 times xy basically it means that m squared minus n squared is 4 times xy now based on this we can start to apply some simplification. So I'm going to say that basically x plus y is m. And then for the next one, I have m squared. And then for the next one, I'm going to write it as m squared minus n squared over 2. This is 85. On the other hand, for what I have for the second equation, I can write it as n squared times m equals to 45. Now, let's simplify it a little bit further. So, I'm going to use m here, and then I will have 2m squared. So, let's keep 2. 2m two squared minus m squared is going to be m squared, and then negative times negative n squared is going to be n squared. This is going to be 85. And then for the next one, I have m times n squared is 45. Now, if we want to continue this way, you can see that I have m to the power of 3 plus m n squared over 2 is 85 and then I have m n squared as 45. Now what I have here is interesting. I have m n squared and m squared here. So I can write it as m to the power of 3 plus 45 is 2 times 85. 
2 times 85 minus 45 is going to be 125 and m to the power of 3 is 125 so m is going to be plus 5 if m is plus 5 then what we are going to have for n remember we said that m squared minus n squared is 4 times xy we said x plus y is m and we said that x minus y is m we already found the value for m from here I'm going to use this equation to find n if m is 5 n to the power of 2 is going to be 45 over 5 which is 9 so n is going to be plus minus 3 now we need to find x and y here so basically now I have two equations I have x plus y equals to 5 and I have x minus y equals to plus minus 3 and this means that I'm going to end up with four possible cases let's see what are those cases so x plus y is 5 and x minus y is 3 and then I have this so here you can say that from here you can say that 2 times x is 8 so x is going to be 4 and then y is going to be 1 so this is the first one and from here you can say that x is going to be 1 and then y is going to be 4 and this is the second one Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, maths involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads, please subscribe to this channel. This is the SQRT channel, and I hope to see you in the next video.